listening and, and being a part of the program and pray that you'll be blessed by everything that's done uh, here in the, on the station. God bless you. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to the service tonight. We want you to uh, just get really comfortable and stay tuned because we have some good singing, good people here to help us and Dottie has phone operators up there and we're, we're just believing the Lord for a good service. And what do I mean by good service? That one where you can feel the presence of the Lord with us. And we know He's here because He's in our hearts and He's there with you if you've been saved, if you've ever asked Him to come into your heart and forgive you, He's with you. So see, we can all have church together and not even be in the same place. So we do want you to stay tuned. We welcome each of you, regardless of where you're from. We received one letter this week from a lady. She'd been in the nursing home for nine years and said this truly was her church because she could not go any place. And so uh, that we want the services to be comforting, inspiring for you, and uh, give you some hope because, you know, when you, get, you go through things long enough, you kind of wear down. You kind of get lose hope and faith and, and direction. But uh, some of the scriptures I want to read to you tonight is to inspire us to renew that hope that is within us. And in uh, James, uh, James 1, 12, it says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. When he is tried, he shall... Well, I must... Okay. Uh, let me read it. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to him that love him. All right. And now that's James 1, 12. And uh, so talking about temptation, you know, every day is, it can be a time that we're tempted to uh, get discouraged. We're tempted to uh, lose our patience and everything. But it says we're going to be blessed if we endure temptation. And that means not let it get to us, not let it uh, overcome us. And, uh, and stay true to the Lord. And in um, Revelation, the second chapter in the 10th verse, it says, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. These two verses, it talks about a crown of life. So in your mind tonight, I want you to start renewing. Okay, why, why are we here? We're here to... I accept the Lord, live for Him a few years, and get ready to go meet Him. And He says that if we're faithful unto death and endure temptation on a daily basis, then we're going to receive that crown of life. Crown of life. That means when we get rewarded for staying true to the Lord. And so we, uh, I would just want you to be encouraged tonight. Life here is not going to last forever but eternity will. So tonight, if you're discouraged, just, just say, Lord, this is a hard time, a hard place I'm in right now, but I know you're going to bring me through. And in Isaiah 59, 1, it says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. So we know that the Lord can do anything. And to help us and he wants us to 
stay true to him and and uh, we will be blessed if we stay true to him and then someday someday you might feel like you've been you've lost out on all the good things in life but someday he will give you the crown of life if you are faithful until death and so just purpose in your heart tonight regardless of what comes your way you're not going to let it steal your peace you're not going to let it steal your soul or mess with your plans to live in heaven with Jesus and uh, we want you to be encouraged tonight because heaven is just really one one breath away you know that sometimes you get thinking things are so bad and it could not get any worse well we're just one breath away from from eternity and so uh, let's remember to be faithful to the Lord and then he'll give us that crown of life when we get there. We have some folk to pray for as as we go to prayer tonight. We have uh, the family of Tammy Spurlock over in Jackson County. She, uh, We understand that she passed away today at the Hospice Center in Richmond. And uh, we, we had the privilege of meeting Tammy and her family a year or so ago when they was having a benefit singing for her, our auction. And um, she, she had planned to come over and give her testimony on the air. And uh, so she's gone to be, meet the Lord now. So let's pray for the Tammy Spurlock family in uh, Jackson County tonight. And also, Vadis Abney said she's lost both of her daughters in the last year, mm -hmm. and she's needing prayer. And uh, okay, and a little two-month-old baby, which is Rhonda's grandbaby, Levi Seal, he is sick tonight and wants prayer. And then in the, in the audience uh, in the audience here tonight in the studio, we had several more prayer requests of people with cancer and different things are going on with them. This life is just one thing right after another. And uh, you get uh, you get through one, you live through it, and then you kind of think, well, yeah, we're on level ground now, but then something else will come along. But this is to try our patience and to see what we're, where our faith is really anchored. And you know, sometimes we, we cannot lean on the arm of flesh. We cannot expect uh, others to do for us what only God can do. Sometimes uh, he's the only one that can heal us. He's the only one that can bind up a broken heart. He's the only one that could uh, heal a marriage. He's the only one that can uh, help you to have grace to live and to deal with the, the grief and the loss that sometimes happens in this world. But as rough as this life is, it's not, one scripture says, it's not even to be compared to the joy that we're going to have when we get to be with Him. And so we've got to look beyond what we're, where we are right now, I guess is what I'm saying, is look beyond the troubles and the trials and the hardships that we have now and knowing it's not going to last forever and then we'll have a chance to be with the Lord where you start reading about heaven and you get so homesick, you think, oh, yeah, I'd sure I wouldn't care to go today. But then you think, well, but who's going to pray for my kids or who's going to do this? And you want to stay just a little bit longer until you know that they're uh, they have uh, you know anchored themselves in the with the Lord. Well, anyway, we won't go any place until the Lord gets ready for us. But anyway, in prayers tonight because if we're faithful then we'll get that crown of life. And we want to d not disappoint herself or anybody else. There's uh, that song, you remember, there's not, I wouldn't miss heaven for anything in the world or something like that. I forgot how, what the word goes. But anyway, there's not, not anything or anyone on this earth worth you losing your soul over. And so you can think about that. And, and the Lord can help you to refocus and know how important heaven is and do whatever it takes to make sure you get there in right relationship with the Lord. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for heaven. We thank you that that's our real home. We thank you that you've made a way that we can go and be with you forever. And so tonight, Lord, for each 
little person to, that is viewing, listening tonight in the nursing homes, the hospitals, and, and in the jails, and, and just confined to their own homes. Lord, we ask you to have mercy on them and minister to them, warm their hearts, and encourage them tonight, Lord. If they're discouraged, drive that from them. Help them to refocus and to keep their eyes on you and not do like Peter, start sinking in the water. But Lord, help us to raise our vision and look and keep our eyes on you because you will always lead us right. Bless our guests and our phone operators. And Lord, we give you this service in advance and we thank you for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, tonight we're so glad to have... Uh, the uh, Blessed Hope Singers from Rock Hole, Kentucky, and uh, their phone number is 606-549-4141. And here's Pastor Jimmy Logan and his daughters. should bless the Lord and we should never be ashamed of the Lord he's provided so many benefits for us after he saved us and we're blessed day after day after day and I say just praise his wonderful name
I'd like to say tonight it's a blessing to be back here on uh, WLJC, and we appreciate uh, this station, and we appreciate all the work that's, that's done here and all the people that are blessed through this TV broadcast. And I appreciate the Lord so faithful. Uh, he never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you may be going through problems. I was thinking coming up the road tonight. Somebody may be listening tonight or watching tonight. It may be a drug addict. Uh, you may be an alcoholic. Uh, you may really be messed up in life and think that there's no hope for you. But I want to tell you there's hope for you tonight. That's what Jesus died for to save sinners and you know, that's what the alcoholic needs. He needs the Lord. That's what the drug addict needs. He just needs the Lord. He's the only one that can change us, and he's the only one that can make a difference in us. But I sure am thankful that he loved us before we ever loved him and died on the cross for us before we ever knew him so you and I could have life tonight and life more abundantly. Out there tonight, and you're in trouble, and you're hurting, and you've got, you got problems. Uh, I hope you'll look to the Lord tonight, and and uh, like Sister Margaret said, there's folks on the uh, telephone lines tonight. They'll talk with you and pray with you and read Scripture with you, whatever you need. But above everything, you need the Lord. Everybody needs the Lord. That's what that's what the world's problem is. What the world needs, you need Jesus. Amen. Whatever sinner needs, he just needs Jesus, and that changes their life and that turn them around, and make a difference in them. It did me, and I'm, I'm sure it did, it did everybody else that's been saved. But, man, I'm telling you, it's a blessing to be here. I feel good tonight. I'm, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll tell you, the Lord's here, amen, and that's what counts. And uh, if he wasn't here, it wouldn't be worth anything, amen. But he's here. He always seems to show up, amen. And uh, where two or three is gathered together in his name, he's one in the midst, the Bible said. And so... And I want to say this for people who might be in trouble tonight or hurting, uh, like Sister Margaret said, troubles, temptations, and problems. Proverbs, uh, or I'm sorry, Psalms 46 and 1 said, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. And so he's present to help you tonight. Amen. But uh, it's so good to be here. You pray for us tonight. My youngest daughter is not with us, and we. Of course, we miss any of them when they're not here, but they've been in Lexington all day with my uh, son-in-law. Uh, he's had a kidney problems, had a transplant, and he's having problems, and they've been in Lexington about all day today, and then they had some, uh, some kind of a benefit supper to go to when they got back, so she's not able to be with us. But do keep them in your prayers, and pray for us tonight. We're not here for a show. We're just here to try to glorify the Lord.
guess you've noticed tonight we've got a new member with us. She uh, stands a while and she sits in the floor a while. But uh, this is by <laughs> this is my great granddaughter and the only one I've only great grandchild that we've got and her name's Harper, but she wanted to be on the stage tonight, so here she is. But uh, but uh, we appreciate her children, her grandchildren and you know, uh, I was thinking a few minutes ago while Sister Margaret was talking about all the trouble that people are having and all the things that are that are going on in the world today and the problems that people face. But, you know, Paul wrote and he said that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And it's not over yet. The Lord's are coming soon. And uh, then Paul said in another place, I think 1 Corinthians 15, he said, if in this life only we have hope, he said, we'd be of all men most miserable. But he said, now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. And so because he has risen, we're going to rise one day. We're going to meet the Lord. We're going to be with him. And so I'm thankful we have hope. We've got a blessed hope. It's a glorious hope. sing them all for you. <laughs>
on this song. I feel like we ought to sing another verse of it. But you know, we all get up in the morning, and uh, when we get up in the morning, and our family's all doing well, and everything's all right, we can look up to the Lord and say, "Still blessed." And whenever things are not going so good, whenever trials come and troubles come and problems come, we can still look up and say, I'm still blessed. Yeah. I'm still blessed. And, uh, you know, a Christian person, somebody that's been saved and ready to meet the Lord, uh, death's not going to be a scary thing for them. Uh, I think when death comes, and I mention this a lot of times at funerals, but I think when death comes, I believe God for his for that saint of God, I think he's going to send a royal escort to take that child home. That's his, amen. And the Bible said, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And that's his. He bought that. That belongs to him. And he's going to make sure that our journey is a sweet journey when it comes down time to die. I believe that. I believe that. So we're still blessed. Let's sing, sing another verse that, would you? That's a good song. We ought to count our blessings, shouldn't we? Amen. I know a lot of people complain, and, and I hear people all the time talk about how bad this is and bad that is. And uh, if you aren't careful, you get all down that. But uh, we're blessed. Well, amen. I mean, every morning when we get up. Now I don't want to leave. Another song turned over here, and I was asked to sing this, and I'm going to try to sing it. Uh, Sister Ruby Manning asked me to call me last night and asked me if I'd try to sing this song. She said, if you feel like it, I said, I'll do my best. But uh, I want to sing this for her, and then I'd like to uh, make some dedications uh, before I do. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this uh, service tonight to Red Lewis and... and and uh, Flonnie Lewis, and uh, Red Lewis, I, I, I tried to get Red to come to, uh, to church for a long time, and uh, Red, this coming Sunday would be a good time for you to come. And uh, then we'd like to dedicate to Rose Harris, and Irene Fraser, and Irene uh, Miller, and Mamie and Willard Douglas, uh, everyone down at Blessed Hope Baptist and Aline and Lester Bernard, uh, Otilla and Portia, uh, Martha and George Middleton, and Ron and Joanne Beavers, good neighbors we've got lives behind us, and and uh, Murray Rapier, and Arnold Hinkle and Irma, and Paul and uh, Loretta Carter, and all of my family that's watching tonight, and anyone else that we might have missed. Uh, we want you to know you're appreciated. Good to have people you, you can confide in, isn't it? It's good to have a place like this. We can all come, just get together and worship the Lord. But you pray for me, and I'll dedicate this song to all the preachers tonight. So if you're a preacher, I'll sing this for you. Mm -hmm. One day while I was thinking
have some people who walked and talked with me. But since I've been converted, they've turned their backs on me. But I'll take this gospel trumpet and I'll be Well, some say give me silver, and some say give me gold, but I say give me Jesus, who saved my dying soul. Oh, glory be to Jesus. We'll give them a few minutes break. They're doing a great job doing what they always do, and it's always so good to have this this church with us. And uh, uh, Blessed Hope Singers from Rockhold, Kentucky, and uh, the phone number to get in touch with them is 606-549-4141. And uh, they're going to take a little break and be back, and we'll 
Meanwhile, we'll share some of the prayer requests that's coming in. They're really busy up there on the phones tonight, uh, praying and reaching souls. Um, here is from Crab Orchard. Mildred has called for a Jasper. He's a little two and a half year old uh, child with brain cancer and he's been five weeks in the hospital already. Uh, Jerry has called for a daughter from Lincoln County. A mother has called for a son has cancer and lungs from Fayette County. Hel uh, Thelma has called health problems. Harlan County for Houston is having heart trouble from London. Doyle has cancer and from Manchester. Uh, Jeffrey Tittles, I guess that's how you say it. He's from uh, uh, Pastor Jim Smith's church on Jack's Branch uh, uh, Church. And uh, we've been requested prayer for him, but he has passed away. So remember to pray for <laughs> Jeffrey's family. Here's a praise report. Uh, Isabel from uh, Johnson County. Had, Johnson County, uh, she had called for our daughter that was having trouble. Uh, her baby was coming too early, but it is, yeah, it has arrived and that everything is okay and she's thanking God for prayer. So that was good, that the baby was okay. All right, from London, a good uh, report, no cancer for Dora. That, that was a good one. Uh, Phyllis for Carlton from Breathitt County, the Donaldson family. Irene has called in for them. And here's someone from Berea that needs help. And here's one, uh, this is, talks about some of that temptation that we're mentioning tonight about some of the trials and problems that we go through. Here is a family that uh, one member has uh, stolen $400 out of uh, someone else's uh, uh, bill fold and says they can't afford that. So they are uh, stressing, they're, they're hurting. These drugs are doing such horrible things to people, making them do things they would never ordinarily do. And so we need to, as Brother Jimmy said, salvation is the only thing that's really going to change people. They can go to rehab, it can help, it can give them some ideas to deal with some hurts in their past, but it takes the Lord to change the want to in their heart. And so that's what we pray for, is salvation of souls. Norma has called from Hyden for Wade that's in the hospital, and he's very sick, he has COPD. Uh, Francis has called for, uh, for Dorothy, has had uh, heart uh, surgery and and not doing too well, and they've moved her to the Danville Hospital. From West Liberty, someone has called for Ethel that's in the hospital. She's a diabetic. She's had some toes removed and maybe even a foot. Uh, might, she might lose it. From Fayette County, Eddie has called special prayer for um, Earlene that's in the uh, Good Samaritan Hospital. A wife has called for Ray from Wolf County for a brother that's in the hospital. And Raj has uh, written down uh, several requests uh, from Berea here, a uh, whole bunch of names that need to, need, need to hear from the Lord. Here someone is having trouble and in a lot of pain in his eye. From Lexington, Joseph has called and said he's a happy Christian and enjoying the music tonight. Gladys uh, from Jackson County has called for someone, uh, Eddie, that's a stage four cancer. And Mark has called from Pulaski County for uh, a, a lady that's in the hospital in Somerset and has been transferred to UK with special needs. and. You know, all these are really heavy requests tonight. All of these people need a touch from the Lord. And so we're going to be doing our part tonight by interceding for them, taking these to the Lord, and then it's up to Him to, uh, to minister to them. You know, we couldn't heal a flea if we, uh, if we tried, but God can. And that one scripture that I read to begin with, that His hand is not... Uh, well, I'm, I'm quit trying to quote scriptures. I'm, I'm a, forgetting how, the words to it. But anyway, his hand is not that he can't save and his ear uh, 
too heavy to listen to hear us and so regardless of uh, regardless of what our needs are tonight that was in isaiah 59 behold the lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear and so there's that is where we're going to lay our request tonight is in the path of the lord and let him minister to them all right we have this family back up here we always enjoy uh getting to see these family uh, this family and now they've they're not exempt from anything they there's a lot of uh, needs and prayer uh, on their prayer list too so they they've had a lot of miracles god's been good to them but he's, they're needing some more so just continue to pray for them as they sing tonight we appreciate all of them uh, being here and miss the one that's not but we'll be praying for them. All right, Brother Jimmy. All right, I get to talk another minute. They're going to correct, get this lined out. But, uh, you know, uh, the Bible said in Romans 3 and 23, uh, it said, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And everyone has sinned. I mean, I've, we've all, we were all sinners. But the Bible also teaches us that all can be saved. He said, Whosoever, and that includes everybody, shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. So I'm thankful tonight he didn't come to call the righteous, but he came to call sinners to repentance. That's what he came to save. And I'm glad he saved this old sinner. And I appreciate everything he does for me from day to day.
tell me, and I've told this before, but they say the reason they want me to come so I'll do the talking. So they don't must not need me much for the singing, but they just want me to do the talking. But but they do a lot better job than I do anyhow. But I, I appreciate my family. This is These are all my daughters. And, and then I appreciate Sister Louise playing the piano for us. She's the piano player at our church. And then I appreciate Brother Gary playing the bass and the, and the other guitar tonight. And I appreciate all of our church. And uh, I was thinking just uh, uh, not long ago, if there's ever been a time uh, in, in our lives and in, in the history of the United States of America, uh, it's time, the best time and the most needful time for all of the churches and God's people to come together. And uh, we're living in perilous times. Paul Paul told us, you know, over in 2 Timothy chapter 3, he said, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. He said, Men be lovers of their own selves and boasters and proud and blasphemers and disobedient parents, unthankful, unholy, and uh, without natural affection, truce breakers. And, and, uh, and he said, uh, went on to say, with, with, Without a, a lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God and having a, a form of God in us but denying the power thereof. And, and folks, that's where we're at today. That's where we're at today. But we, we just need to come back to God. We just need to get together. He's the one has got all the, all the power, and he's the one that's able to do what needs to be done. And uh, so, I'd, I, you know, if we could just, just, just remember that he's, that's where help comes from. It comes from the Lord.
also. Uh, I've got another son-in-law, uh, Becky's husband, Jimmy, that was in the, had to go to the ER the other night having trouble, <coughs> problems with his legs, swelling in his legs, and and uh, he's really been having a hard time of uh, walking. And I'd love for everybody to remember him and, and pray for him, Jimmy Hudson. We love him, appreciate him. And, uh, you know, it's uh, just such a blessing to be able to call upon the Lord, isn't it? And you know what? The uh, Bible tells us that he's our great high priest that's passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. And, uh, and it tells us he's touched. He's not one that cannot be touched, but he's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. And he knows what we're going through. And we were told, the scripture tells us, to come boldly, therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And I love him so much. And I've called on him. And the older I get, the more I love him. The older I get, the more blessed it is to think about the fact that one day, one day, we're going to have a new body. One day we're going to be rid of sickness and sorrow and pain and suffering. And one day we're going to be at home with the Lord. And that's something to shout about tonight. That ought to make a Baptist or a Church of God or a Presbyterian or a Nazarene or whatever you are. That ought to put a shout in your soul tonight to know, amen, that Jesus is coming back. And we're going home, amen. Amen. <laughs> died for us on Calvary's hill and he was buried and three days later he got up, he rose from the dead and then afterward he ascended back into heaven but I'm glad he loved us that much no one ever loved us like that to give his life for us so we could be saved
I'm glad I know who he is. But I'd like to see everybody else know who he is. It's, they don't know him. And you can He made a way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And you can know him. He's the way uh, to be saved. And uh, if, you, if you'll just turn, I tell them a lot of times in church, uh, repentance is just making a turn. In the army, we used to have a call called about turn, and you made a complete turnaround uh, in that move. And if you'll turn from your sin, turn away from sin, turn to him, amen, he can, he'll save you, amen. Ask him to have mercy, and he'll show you mercy. And I'm thankful for that tonight.
All right. Thank you so much for all those good songs. Blessed Hope Singers from Rock Hole, Kentucky. Now, if Pastor Jimmy and his uh, wife will uh, come up, uh, we'll share the rest of our uh, prayer request. And uh, we uh, have mics up here and everything. Well, from Clay County, we have uh, a report that someone in the Jeffrey Caudill family has passed away, so they need prayer. A little nine-year-old Jaden from um, Pulaski County has been in the Cincinnati Hospital and uh, needing a heart transplant. He's doing better and he's back home, but he still needs a heart transplant. And uh, then uh, here's uh, said the singers are great tonight. Many from uh, Menifee County for Virgil that's real sick and uh, might be going to hospice. Delphia from Leslie County. And uh, here's some, some more. Uh, Jeremy from Fayette County. Friend's husband is sick. And uh, Mickey from uh, R Richmond for a family. And here's Freddie from Corbin that has cancer. Johnson County, Rita with heart trouble. All right, uh, Brother Jimmy, you ready to shout? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here, all right. Well, here's your uh, grounds to shout on. All so right. you just read. You just read them. He's got. So we got a, a Robert from Leslie County, 83 y years old that gave his heart to the Lord and was saved. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Judy from Mount Sterling said that she was saved. The Lord came in her heart. And then we've got uh, Robin from Fayette County, and she said she was saved tonight on the, in the service and said to pray for her mother and family. And then uh, uh, Don from Somerset uh, uh, said pray for his healing, and he rededicated his life tonight. And then uh, Kim from Barberville uh, said, her, I guess, to pray for her family, and she rededicated her life tonight. And you know, that's enough for anybody to shout about. There's, there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels over sent one sinner that repenteth more so than over 99 that need no repentance. Yes. And, uh, but this is what it's all about. Yep. Amen. This is... This is what it's all about. Uh, getting saved, getting ready to meet the Lord, being prepared when that time comes. And, uh, and it's going to come. It'll be here. Uh, I mean, the Lord's coming, and if He don't come, we can leave here just any time. Mm -hmm. But, buddy, that's a blessing. I praise God for all of you that, that give your heart to the Lord and, and was saved tonight. And you'll never regret it. Amen. And here's, here's another dedication, uh, rededication. Uh, Margaret. Uh, called in by Donna Farmer at uh, Ravina County. And uh, boy, that's a blessing. Praise yes. God. Yes. Amen. That's shouting grounds. Yes, Amen. It is. Amen. It's time to shout. Well, it looks like, it looks like <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. All right. A little more shouting. <laughs> Amen. Here's another one. <laughs> Another one saved. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Eula from uh, Stanford, Kentucky, 79 years old. To give her heart. Ain't that a blessing? Yes. Praise God that God would, would show mercy to, to someone that was 79 years old and save them by the grace of God. That's how he is. Amen. That's how he is. He'll save those that'll, that'll ask him and call upon him. Right. Amen. <laughs> Uh, all right, and see this one that you already you read a minute ago. He was 83, 83. and so isn't this great that they're, they're getting so near home Praise and God. and how the Lord's getting them ready. Amen. So now he was talking about shouting. So now we're, <laughs> we're giving him opportunity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is wonderful because uh, hey, the Lord is much more about you than what we have the ability Amen. to be. Hallelujah. We care and we want yes. to see and know of you living right and, and accepting him, but we can't, we can't know how important it is like he does. That's right. And, uh, Amen. So, uh, all right, we're going to, we're going to have, uh, we're going to let these ask 
his pastor and his wife to uh, us all and uh, and pray over them and um, and we're going to believe the Lord for Amen. healing to take yes. place in some of these. See, some of them was uh, was prayer request. I mean, praise reports. Some of them was better than what they was when they'd called before. And so, uh, uh, as this pastor and his wife, uh, they lead us in prayer. Then let's let's believe with them for it to happen, and and pray especially for all these new new converts that they will Amen. be. Uh, grow in the Lord. Yes, amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, God, tonight as we come before you again, Lord, what a blessing to be able to be here tonight and feel the presence of the Lord. The good Holy Ghost come down and in power and greatness, God, and do what you've done tonight. Save these souls, God. And Father, I pray for them, God, that you'd help them now they can grow and become stronger in the Lord, be used, God, and you'll use them if they'll submit Thank themselves you. to you. And I pray oh, you'd bless them, help them to find a good church to go to and, and a good oh, pastor to work with them, God. And Father, I pray for these others, Lord, that's got sicknesses, Lord, some battling cancer, oh, some Jesus. with all sorts of sicknesses yes, tonight. Lord. But Lord, you promised to send the word of God that you'd hear us when we pray, mm -hmm. yes. that your eyes are over the righteous and your ears are attentive to their mm -hmm. prayers. And Father, I pray tonight, God, that you'd move, God, wherever these are at, if they're in the home or the hospital or, or wherever they're at tonight, God, the nursing home, I pray for the mighty, powerful hand of Almighty God to reach down and touch them and deliver them, give them healing tonight, God. And Father, again, we thank you for this place, Lord, upon this hill where the gospel can go out and where people can be blessed and helped and, and have a church, God, to go to in their home. Thank you for it, God, and thank, for the, thank you for the supporters, God, that, that support the work, God. We just praise you for Sister Margaret and all the staff here, Lord, and, and their, their faithfulness and their labor, God. And I pray you continue to bless them and use them, Lord, for your honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Very good. So that was worth all that crooked road trip that you had uh, coming up here, yeah. didn't it? And the, the lady playing the piano did such a good job that I, uh, it won't even bother her going home, no. will it? No. <laughs> Amen. So what we, we have five minutes here. You can have four of it. So what? I'll take one of them. <laughs> okay, one. One will do me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Share with us something good. Thank the Lord for being here tonight and for what we felt and mm -hmm. for everything He's done. And you know, mm -mm. it's on age or mm -mm. all of our sins or what we've done, if it's murder or whatever, we can still be saved. Yes. And He's waiting for us to call upon Him, you know. And mm -hmm. I thought about our daughter Paula. They had a guy that got shot one day this week and she had to do a drug test on him, I think it was. And he said he wished they had just went ahead and killed him when the police oh. shot him. Wished they'd just killed him, you know, because he said, I'm going to spend the rest of my life behind bars. But you know what? He'd be better off behind bars than he mm -hmm. would be in hell. Yes, yes. And I thought of that all week after mm -hmm. she said that, that he better be thankful yes. that he was blessed to live and have another chance. Yes. And oh, I just thank God tonight for yes, his mercy and his yes, grace and yes. for what he does for us all. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 All right. Well, Jimmy, you have some time there. Three minutes. Three minutes. Well, I'll try to be quick, brief. Yeah. But you know, there's one thing I would like to say tonight. I've, I had this on my heart coming up the road tonight. If you're out there and need to be saved, the Bible tells you how to be saved. In, in, in Romans chapter 10, the Bible said, The word is nigh thee, even in thy heart, and then thy mouth, the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, Believe in thine heart that God has raised him dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And that's how we get saved. Yes. The yes. Bible tells us how we get saved. And boy, I'm just so thankful tonight. I, and I'd like to say this to you folks that, that give your heart to the Lord tonight and, and, and were saved. Uh, boy, that's the greatest move you'll ever make in life. Mm -hmm. You'll never regret it. You'll never regret it. And, uh, and, and you, you, you just get in there and stay close to God and read your Bible and, and pray and, and find a good church to go to if you don't have a church. And, and, uh, and the Lord bless you and He'll use yes. you. 
and you'll never regret what you, the move that you've made tonight. And thank God for a Savior like our Lord Jesus Christ. And again, I thank Him for this place and thank Him for what we've been able to enjoy here tonight yes. in this place. Yes. It's been a blessing. Yes. Amen, a blessing. All right, thank you so much, Pastor Jimmy Logan and his wife and family uh, for being here. They're from the Rock Hole, Kentucky, and uh, uh, you're still having church the same time? Same time, <laughs> Sunday morning, Sunday school 10, church at 11, Sunday night uh, 6 o'clock, Wednesday night 7. Right. And if you don't have a church, you're welcome. We'd love to have you. All right, that's very good. Blessed and Hope Baptist. All right, in Rockholt. Rockholt, Kentucky. All right. How big a place is Rockholt? Well, pretty small. Pretty if you small. drive fast, you'll miss <laughs> you all the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> we have a post office and mini mart and a dollar store. Oh, Nothing that good. big? Mm -hmm. well, that big. It wouldn't take you long to get your shopping done no. that way. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, we appreciate uh, appreciate the goodness of the Lord tonight. Amen. And, yes. You know, some of these folk that called and accepted the Lord tonight, they might, might be close to their home going. And so this is such a comfort to know that uh, they'll be going to meet the Lord in peace. All right, we're out of time, though. So from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606 464-3600 or write to WLJC P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.